Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 43. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we're going to be going over how to use the Cloud Zoom Gallery widget. And I know it sounds similar to the previous tutorial, but it is a little bit different. So that's the reason that I'm making this separate tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Uh, once you go ahead and start that blank new document, let's go ahead and go to the upper right hand corner and click on Designs Gallery. And when you click on Designs Gallery, you're going to go ahead and lock that panel. And we're going to look for the folder called Widgets, Forms, and More. So when you find that folder, go ahead and left click on that. And then look for the Eye Catchers folder. And left click on that. And it's going to bring up all your widgets for the Eye Catcher folder. And by the way, if you're not keeping up, it's because I'm assuming that you've watched the previous tutorials and you should have a good understanding of how to get to where we're at by now. So let's go ahead and scroll down and look for Cloud Zoom Gallery 1 and 2. And it should be the last two uh, thumbnails that you see within that folder. In this case, it'll say again Cloud Gallery 1 and Cloud Gallery 2. We're going to left click and drag in that first Cloud Gallery called Cloud Gallery 1. And when you drag that in, we're going to double left click on that to go to edit mode. And when we get in edit mode, I'm actually going to zoom in some because I know it's kind of hard to see uh, the text that I want you to see here. So I'm going to zoom in about 200%. And then once we get zoomed in, you'll see that there's another uh, zoom viewer label. And this zoom viewer label is going to apply to every image. So make sure that it's something relevant to your full gallery. And you'll see what I mean if I scroll down here a little bit. You'll see that there's four images. So make sure that all four of these images make sense with the title that you give your Zoom Viewer label. So let's go ahead and double left click on that. And I'm just going to call it Hotel Suite. As if it's a professional uh, hotel. That's very upscale. So once you change the title of that, um, let's go ahead and show you how to replace the picture. It's the same way that you have in the past. It's really simple. So let's go to let's go to start if you're in Windows XP, and then go to my pictures, and then go to sample pictures, and then we're going to drag in uh, one of the images from this folder. And you can use you know images if you have a different folder that has your personal photos in it. You can use that as well. So let's go ahead and drag that into our workspace here and you'll see that it replaced uh, that particular image and it brings up a prompt that says multiple copies of this photo have been replaced on this page to replace just one copy hold down the control key while dropping a photo well this really isn't an issue we don't you don't want to hold down the control key because we're doing a, a specific type of widget where it requires two photos to be replaced so we're going to click on, I would, if I were you, I would click on the don't show me again for this particular instance and then close that particular window by cl clicking on the close button. And then once you do that, you'll see if you scroll down a little bit that, well, for one, we got the big photo here of the water lilies. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a small thumbnail image right here as well. And that's what it was talking about for the multiple copies. And that's relevant because when you click on these images, when we go to preview the website you want to have these thumbnails there that's why you gotta have multiple copies so let's go ahead and go to the next uh, image in this widget and then I'm going to show you again that you can replace more than one photo at a time if you go back to your sample sample pictures folder and in this case I'm going to copy uh, three of these images here and I'm going to drag them into our workspace. And when I drag those three images into our workspace, if you scroll down, you'll see that all of our thumbnails have been replaced with those three images that I added. So you can replace all those photos at the same time. You don't have to do them one by one. And I highly recommend if you if you do got, you know, a total of four photos that you want to put in there, they drag them in all at once. That way you don't have to manually drag each one, you know, one by one. So once you get all the photos replaced with the ones that you want, and you name your zoom label, like I did, I named it Hotel Suite, even though that's not relevant to every image that I have here, 
actually it's not relevant to any of the images because I replaced all the images that were originally there. Uh, also take note that you cannot have more than four images. So the, the cloud zoom gallery is limited to four images. So if you don't remember that, you can easily remember it by looking at how many thumbnails are beneath the, the main photo. So now that we're done making those edits, let's go ahead and close out um, from edit mode by clicking the X button here. And it's going to ask you, do you want to save your changes? You're going to say yes and save that. And then we're going to go to file preview website. And when you get to this mode, if you place your cursor over that main image, you'll see that we're able to zoom in on that particular image and focus on certain areas. And if you click on the next uh, thumbnail in the gallery, you'll see that we again have the option to zoom in on specific elements. So the, thing, the di main difference between uh, the regular zoom widgets and the zoom gallery widget is that it allows you to have multiple images at once and you can zoom in on multiple images so I think it's a big time saver and uh, I think that it'll allow you to have some more flexibility um, compared to just having just one uh, zoom uh, cloud widget so I hope this tutorial has helped you to learn uh, how to edit the cloud zoom gallery and if you wanted me to I could show you how to use the gallery cl cloud gallery too but essentially the same process uh, it just has a slightly different uh, presentation and I can show you that right quick if you want I think I will show you it just for the sake of showing you so I'm gonna drag that into my workspace it's gonna take a second there we go and let's go ahead and go to file preview website and when you place your cursor over this you'll notice that when you place your cursor over it that all elements of the picture are grayed out except for the stuff with inside the box so it it kind of darkens out the certain parts of the the photo that are not being focused on but the areas that you are focusing on are lit up you know they're not in gray so that's one of the main differences with this particular zoom cloud gallery but I'm not going to go through any more of that uh, I think you have the general idea. Uh, feel free to experiment with the Cloud Zoom Gallery. And I hope that this, this tutorial was helpful in helping you understand how to edit uh, a Cloud Zoom Gallery. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to give us thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also feel free to embed our video. Uh, one, one thing I've never mentioned to you guys, one of my main goals is uh, one one day to have you know so many good videos that uh, institutions such as uh, colleges or high schools will be able to look back at these training videos and actually use them in their curriculum. So uh, you know if you know someone that's in a in a, a education environment uh, that may find these videos useful help for helping their students, or even if you're using a for a business, you know feel free to use these videos to train your organization um, and becoming more efficient with web development and web design. Uh, so I hope that again that you enjoy this video and I hope that you stay tuned for future uh, training videos. Thanks again. Yeah.